Okay, so hi Angie. How are you? Hi Nicole. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> Very Thank you so much. You're, you're so pretty. <laughs> Good, good. Can you hear so, me well? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you very well. Thank you. Uh, so, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I am Angie from Malaysia. Okay, so I'd like to tell the story about Angie at a young age. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to tell my story about how I built my own box. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember yours is a lot of boxes one. So we want to hear your box stories. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I will uh, begin my story about how I how Angie built her own box. Okay, okay. all right. Mm. Actually, I was born in a very poor family. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but at my young age, I noticed that uh, even we are poor, but my father like to help people, like, mm. help, like to help other people. And mm. my parents never compromise of, on our education for all my siblings. I have six siblings. All right. Okay. So, yeah, so this uh, actually have an impact to Angie. Yeah, helping people make me happy. <laughs> and education can change people's life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So when I finish my secondary school, actually my ambitious is to be a chartered accountant. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so as you know, my com uh, my uh, family is not a rich family. So I go for my first job. Yeah. And my salary is only 700 ringgit Malaysia per month. Yeah, oh. quite a little. But you yeah. know... Um, yeah, yeah. Because I'm ambitious to be a chartered accountant, I only allow myself to have lunch for one ringgit. So wow. I save, yeah, I save all the money just to pay to the university for my ACCA course. Yeah, and the reason I choose oh. ACCA for my uh, chartered accountant profession is because, yeah, I think ACCA yeah. is an international certified qualification. Yeah, uh, at my young age, I feel like I, I like to work in overseas. That's why I choose this profession. Yeah. Okay. And, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so that is how I built my own box. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And when I was very successfully achieved my, qualify my, as a chartered accountant as, at my age of 26. Huh. So... I like my work. I can work till 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. are so late. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> no, I am a very workaholic. So uh, okay. not only work, besides work, I was involved in all the, all the training, uh, event, and even uh, CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility Program. Yeah, so uh -huh. I am too busy in my work. 100% focus in my work. Cool. But I, I'm happily uh, in the box. That is the box I built for myself. Then right. I stay happily in the box. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. But so, Nicole, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go on. Okay. Uh, All right. But Nicole, you know, that is the turning point for me. When I was happily in the box, but yeah. uh, slowly, I found that my health start to deteriorate. Oh. Ah, seriously, I have a very serious constipation problem. I right. only pass more once a week. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah. yeah, and very serious gastric problem. Mm. Mm. And even I have a depression uh, okay. at the at my age of 26, uh, my body weight only 39 kg. Very skinny. Very oh. small yeah. size. Very skinny. Oh. Yeah. So skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, when I uh, discovered that I have the sign of depression is my colleague told me. She mm. said, Angie, how come I feel you like 
very hard breathe, hardly breathe smoothly. Yeah. So uh-huh. yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they makes me uh go to consult doctor and doctor prescribe me the medicine, which is medicine for depression. Mm. Yeah. So mm, that is that is something that I start to uh discover that is some problem on my health. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I guess actually you were quite successful in your previous career already. So this was like the turning point that made you want to change into something else, correct? Yeah. Mm. And that is one more incident, actually. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm. That incident is about my grandmom. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I still remember that time I worked in an audit firm. So every day we are very uh we are very nervous about uh submit the report on the deadline uh, okay we have to meet the deadline yeah okay so but uh i remember the day my grandmom fall sick yeah just after chinese new year the 11th day of chinese new year she fall sick then she she asked me she requested me to stay at home to accompany her but mm. i rejected her I just say, Mama, I speak in Cantonese to her because yeah. I, I really very um, care, take care of her because my grandma have difficult in hearing. So I yeah. always, yeah, I always spoke in uh, nearer to the her ear so that I make sure she can hear. Yeah, yeah. but at the point, at, at the time, I rejected her, you know, I said, can cannot, I have to work because I have a lot of project, a lot of, uh, report I need to finalize to meet uh, the deadline okay but Nicole I will never know that day is deadline for my grandmom's life yeah because the next day when I go to office uh, I receive a call I receive a call from my my I think my sister she told me that my grandmom has passed away uh, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Yeah. Hmm. You didn't hear me. You didn't. I'm sorry to hear that about your grandma. Okay, all right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I was I was standing in front of my boss. Yeah. I received the call. Then my tears couldn't control, just drop uncontrollable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is something awake me. A NG. Wake up call. Yeah. Wake yeah, up call. yeah. Awake up. Wake up call for Angie. Angie, are you really want to 100% focus in your career? Are there nothing else in your life? Mm. So, yeah, that is a wake-up call to me. That was also and, the turning point mm-hmm. in your life. Huh? That was the moment that changed your whole life. Yeah. Mm. Yes, correct. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful that at the time, that is one person came into my life okay. he asked me a question yeah he asked me a question Angie are you happy with your life <laughs> so I got no answer you know Nicole I got no answer for that question yeah okay. uh, yeah because I'm not happy yeah so he told me if you're not happy just make a change yeah mm-hmm. just make a change yeah that is the time, the point of time, I start, I started to think out of the box. Yeah, when I think out of the box, I start to balance my life. Not mm. only career, I have to take care of my family. I have to take care for my health, everything. So I start to involve in Elkins activity, and oh. I like it. Yeah. I like it because when you first joined, okay, right. Yeah. Then uh because I like it because I for the past I only know what is counts number of reporting. But when I involve in Elkin activities, it makes me learn a lot of health knowledge, beauty knowledge, where I never learned it before. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So uh my my health problem slowly recover. Constipation yeah. problem, gastric problem, slowly recover. And yeah. I was happy that uh, my body weight increased from 39 to 45. Wow, yeah. I do it. Huh? <laughs> so actually, there's I a lot of it. value. There's a lot of value after you join Elkin. 
Yeah. You know? Yes, so, yes, yes. That is my transformation. Yeah, you can see for, from the photo uh, yeah. with the Alisa lingerie, my body shape is uh -huh. turned in, transformed into a perfect body shape, which wow. I felt more confidence to carry out myself to, to public. Uh, in public. Oh, you can walk in, in the air like that. <laughs> it's like walking on air because very confident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I That's was so happy cool. for the transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, there is one more thing which is very valuable for me, which is I learned the MRT concept and I learned yeah. to have, uh, I have time freedom when I start to balance my life. Uh, this yeah. incident, this is the second incident uh, happened in my life where my father got a mouth stroke at his age of 70. Mouth okay. stroke. Yeah, so I was very, uh, I was very uh, nervous when I heard the news. So uh, immediately I go to see my father, I bring him to hospital. Because yeah. I have the time freedom, so I accompany him uh, for a few days, morning to night, comfort uh. him. And I'm very thankful that I learned the MRT concept in Elkin so that I understand mouth stroke is caused by the blood vessel blockage. Mm -hmm. So what to do for that? So I gave my father life extra uh, and EPA. Yeah, uh -huh. that is my father's photo. Uh, uh -huh. Life Extra EPA, Dr. Zenergy, Kington. Yeah, I want to get my father recover as soon as, he, as possible. And I'm very thankful that at the point of time, I really have time freedom. I can spend my time with my father and yep. I know the knowledge about MRT concept so that uh -huh. I able to let my father recover faster lucky you had yeah. this uh, education system uh, then with this you really help your father to improve his health yes yeah yeah mm. yeah nicole <laughs> what do you think, yeah what do you think that you can contribute to this platform and perhaps to the global market mm. actually uh actually before that you know uh when i started to think out of the box ah. and that, uh, that is, there's something happened to me where uh, I think at my third year, third years of my uh, life in the Alcan, I have some financial uh, mismanagement. Yeah, oh, I have some financial mismanagement. So at the time, uh, someone told me to quit. Yeah. <laughs> and I was very, uh, I, 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 I don't know what to do. So mm -hmm. I can describe myself. That time, I was like, a piece of paper was scrapped by others and that this scrap paper just throw by throw, throw on the floor everywhere like that so mm. this is how i describe myself uh my feeling at the point of time but you know someone come into my life and he pick up this scrap paper and he make it yeah. into a Nice paper, he make it into a nice paper, and he make it into an aeroplane. Yeah, and he wow. told me, Angie, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he told me, Angie, uh, you are just like this paper aeroplane, you can fly. Yeah, this make me recall my ambitions during my young age. I want to do, I want to have a career globally, internationally. Yeah, mm. so that's. That's time uh, that I start to think like there is no box, no box for me. Yeah, I start to, I start to give value to others. Yeah, I remember I gave a coaching program, training program for all the women uh, working in the police station, medical center, and even wow. the French wow. merchants there. Yes, wow. yes. Yeah, because that is the value that I can contribute to the to the to the public, make people okay. beautiful, make people healthy, and make people confidence. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, it, of course it comes with some 
little achievement where I also achieved my dream car, which is the yeah BMW 3 Series. And wow. I start to give yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I have a little bit of achievement uh after I start to think like there is no box. Yeah, there is a platform for me to fly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nicole. So it's like an aeroplane, you go and then you take off and now you're flying high in the sky. Right? <laughs> sure. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Okay, and I would think uh, just how Nicole asked me what is the uh, contribution that ah, I think that I can yeah, yeah I can contribute to this platform perhaps yes. global market uh yeah uh beside all the achievement that I mentioned just now I think the most valuable thing for me is my mentor make me strong my okay. mentor make me strong make Angie strong. And uh, when I can start to venture into global market, actually there are someone who, who asked me, hey Angie, are you still with Elkin? I said, yes. Then they are very curious, oh, I can stay in Elkin for so long, 13 years. I said, yes. But deep inside my heart, I feel that Elkin grow me up. My mentor grow me up. Why should yeah. I laugh? No, it's just like a parents grow their children. Would the children love the parents? If no. the parents need it? No, of course, no. If yeah. The parents put, they won't leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the yeah, parents go right. to uh, think first. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is good parents, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I even uh, try to make myself better hmm. because I think that if Angie become better, Angie can contribute to this platform to make Elkin better, to make everyone better. And I think there is a lot of people out there that need us to share our knowledge in Elkin about health, about beauty, and about the business opportunity to them. This yeah. is something that, yeah, this is something that uh, I'm very uh, grateful that uh, we are now venturing into 45 country with a digital yeah. platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that is something that I'm very happy that uh, through the digital platform sharing, I even shared the opportunity to a friend in overseas. Yeah, and he are uh, he able to qualify pro builder within seven days. Seven and, days. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what, what he told me? He told me, wow, because, because the first question is uh he has been uh, with other MLM company last time and yeah. they need to they need to uh invest in so many accounts. But when, when he listened, eh, Elkin, only one account can earn a lot. Then he said, this is amazing opportunity. Yeah. So I think the contribution uh, from Angie to this platform is I willing to contribute, to share to more, to more and more people to the world. And even uh, I am grateful that I have a, a, an opportunity to yeah. share the MRT concept in front of 60 doctors in a symposium of anti-aging society in overseas. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, they, yes, they, even the doctors, they are very ego, but they are very amazed with MRT concept. Uh, at that platform, I think you are, they are equal, you know, even though they are doctors, but at that time, you're already in the equal, equal platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Nicole, actually I want to grab this opportunity to thanks to my mentor, my life coach, yeah, which is uh, Mr. J and Mr. Lay. Uh, he always, he, he, he's the one who made me strong, make Angie strong. And I want to, uh, I want to thanks Lao Ta, Mr. and Mrs. Francis Chia also because uh, He's the one with his wisdom and uh, help a lot of people, uh, help, help all of us yeah, grow together. And also I want to uh, thanks to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lee, uh, which he always give the courage to Angie. Yeah, thanks so much. And also I want to thank to my, to Elton Global Management Team. 
Yeah, which is uh, very thankful to our senior regional vice president, Ms. Wang, our AVP, Ms. Anna Wong, and also our boss chairman, Mr. A.K. Tan, and also all the outcome management team because they are so supportive uh, to us and to me for building this business. Hmm. And lastly, I want to thank my family, <laughs> which is my parents. Yeah, my parents, my mother-in-law and my sibling and my husband, they are always, I thanks, uh, I want to thank them for loving Angie and always support Angie. Yeah, very thankful to them. And I wish them healthy, happy, always. Mm. Mm. And I think uh, my last message to all of you, yeah. Mm. I think we live, we only live once in a life. Yeah, so with a purpose, I, and I believe everyone have the purpose of life. Yeah, and I think our life is not very long, it's short. So choose the right platform for yourself. Where I think in our platform, which is build you to build others, is a very, very caring, enrichment each other's platform for us. And we are able to deliver our love um, to the people all over the world. Yeah. They call that's, <laughs> that's, that's my sharing. Beautiful sharing, actually. Thank you so much, Ang, for your sharing today. Nice. Thanks, Nicole. We are happy to have you on our platform. And thank you for all your sharing, yeah?